What we have here is a possible step while we're solving projectile motion problems, or in a general sense, other problems, where we have gotten ourselves in the y direction, the x direction. We have two unknowns, our vi and our t, and our vi and our t. So we know two equations, two unknowns is solvable. We might not be sure what to do. So let's first talk about what not to do. So one thing that we could do, and we shouldn't, is to set both sides equal to zero, right? So we have zero equals v sub i sine of 30 degrees, t minus 4.9 meters per second squared, t squared. We haven't done anything to the top one. For this bottom one, we just bring this 10 meters over. So we have zero equals v sub i cosine of 30 degrees, t minus 10 meters. And then what we could say is, well, this is equal to zero, this is equal to zero, so set them both equal to each other, right? Set zero equal to zero. And then what we would get from this is we would get vi cosine of 30 degrees t minus 10 meters equals vi sine of 30 degrees t minus 4.9 meters per second squared t squared. Well, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with this is that our v sub i, our t, our v sub i, our t, and our t are all still in this equation, and we've reduced the total number of equations we have from two down to one. So right, we still have two unknowns, but we have now only equations. So what we want to do instead is we want to do, right, solve and substitute. I want to solve for one of these unknowns. So maybe in here I can take a look at 10 meters equals v sub i cosine of 30 degrees t. And I could solve for v sub i. So this would give me v sub i equals 10 meters over t times cosine of 30 degrees. I still haven't, right, solved for anything truly. But then what I do is then I then substitute in v i equals 10 meters over t cosine of 30 degrees into the other equation. So if I do that, getting yourself a new color, we have 0 equals, and then every time I see v sub i, I replace it with 10 meters over t cosine of 30 degrees, and then I have sine of 30 degrees times t minus 4.9 meters per second squared, t squared. So let's look here. Here I have just t on this side, t squared on this side, t here. In fact, since I have t on top and t on bottom, I can even cancel these two. So really only have this t squared here. So now I only have one equation, one unknown, so I can solve for it. So when I do that now, then I have that my t squared is equal to, right, bringing this over and then dividing, 10 meters sine of 30 degrees over 4.9 meters per second squared cosine of 30 degrees. And if I solve for this, then I will get my t is 1.08 seconds. Now, once I have that, I can go back and solve for my v. My v is 10 meters over 1.08 seconds times cosine of 30 degrees. And so I'd get then my vi is 10.64 meters per second. So it doesn't matter which one we solve for because we can always go back and solve for it. We just have to solve for one and plug it into the other equation. The substitute and solving method is how we want to solve any system of equations, two, three, four, however many 
for the rest of our physics careers.